Hi guys, it's me, Lunar. Welcome back to another daily Xbox and PlayStation 4 mod update video for Skyrim Special Edition. Today we have eight new mods to look at, as they are a bunch of smaller mods mostly, so I threw them all into one video for you guys. We have four for PS4 and four for Xbox One. Also guys, follow me on Twitter. I feel like I need to be more active on Twitter, so follow me, ask me stuff, I will definitely reply to you. Anyway guys, let's not wait around and jump into our first mod of the day. Our first mod of today is called Vivid Dawnbreaker, and this mod replaces the Dawnbreaker sword in-game. It's a simple text to replace her mod and the Dawnbreaker sword will now look less bright but more vibrant in red color and it now has visible text on the blade which is cool I guess. So if you like the look of the new Dawnbreaker with this mod then download it for yourself. Our next mod is called Sky Torch. It is said that this was the torch used to first light the Skyforge ages ago. Their energies are still bound together and the torch will stay lit as long as the Skyforge is lit. The light that is produced is pure white and its reach extends far beyond that of an ordinary torch. So if you're looking for this new brighter torch, it can be found at the Skyforge and Whiterun obviously. A cool mod, kind of like a light and color of mage light, but in the form of a torch. The next mod is a new ring of carry weight and it adds into Skyrim three new rings. One ring adds 10,000 to your carry weight being the ring of overpowered carry weight. Another ring adds 2,000 to your carry weight being the ring of medium carry weight. And the last one adds 200 to your carry weight being the ring of lesser carry weight. They can be found in a chest in the fire in your Vasker if you're looking for them. So nothing much else to say about this mod, a simple mod that increases your carry weight. Next is the Gold Coins Now Have Weight mod. This mod adds in some realism and immersion to Skyrim by giving coins weight just like they would in real life. Gold Coins now weigh 0.02, .02 so that means guys for every 50 coins you have it will add 1 space to your carry weight. So guys I have 100,000 gold coins and so it takes up 2,000 carry weight. Good thing I still have the ring of carry weight from the last mod. Our next mod of the day is a mod that's going to try and improve your frames per second by doing several things. With loads of mods installed, lag can become a problem, especially somewhere like here in the Rift where there is a strain on your graphics before mods, and so this mod tries to help out. So once you install the mod, it will attempt to delete shadows, delete some effects such as snow footprints and other similar kind of smaller things like that, delete particles and change time multiplier on camera shots, all of which should help out your frames per second in game. Next up we have Eric the Chatty. This mod adds a few extra dialogue topics to Eric and about 20 extra lines of dialogue for him to run through when you talk to him in game. According to the mod author, he made this mod to make Eric feel a bit more like a friend and less like a pack mule. It simply adds how are you doing and what are you thinking topics to which he can respond in a number of different ways. For some reason this only really works if you have yet to do the quest in which Eric becomes Eric the Slayer and so it might really only be a mod available for someone who's starting a brand new game. So make sure that you install this one if you're starting a new game. It's not guaranteed it won't work for you. I haven't completed the Eric the Slayer quest in game so that's why it works for me but if you've done both then you might have to restart. The next mod is the Dagger of Range and it's a replica dagger of Merun's dagger except it's unenchanted and it now has an attack range of 9999 so you can hit enemies from pretty much anywhere. The mod has disabled killed animations for the weapon so that you don't try and teleport to the enemy to kill them but the animations will still work at close range. If you're looking for it it can be found in Dragon's Reach in the room on the left with all the food it's just sitting on a table. It can also be crafted and tempered at the forge and it can also be enchanted as well. Our final mod of the day guys adds forgeable and upgradable bucklers, light shields, light armor and heavy armors. So what is added with this mod? First off, what are bucklers exactly? Well, bucklers are a type of small lightweight shield used primarily in combat to provide maneuverable protection for the body from the hand and forearm. They are extremely lightweight and maneuverable. That being said, all bucklers weigh about half of what the normal shield does in game and also requires only half the material to forge them since they are half the size and also to balance them out and not make them overpowered. The armor rating is cut in half as well as their value. Most of these use vanilla mesh which has been reduced by about 40% in size, so not quite half. Some have been turned to one side to keep true to the lore that they are designed to protect the hands and forearm. If you don't like how they look then you can just craft just the regular shields as well. I guess these kind of go better if you have light armor rather than heavy armor. So the current available bucklers in game are the Blades one, Daedric, Dragonplate, Dragon Scale, Dwarven, Ebony, Elven, Glass, Hide, Imperial, Iron, Banded Iron, Arkish, Steel and a couple of unique ones as well such as the Buckler of Solitude, the Buckler of East Grimoire, Buckler of the Blooded which of course the Targe of the Blooded, Spellbreaker Buckler, Buckler of Winterhold and Buckler of Sithis. 
To summarize all that guys, you can now craft three versions of each shield, a light, medium and heavy version almost, with each version being stronger than the previous one, but the buckler versions are smaller, require less materials and are worth less in value, but they are faster to use when you try and block or hit your enemies with them. The mod also adds in light armor versions of all heavy armors to the forge as well if you're looking for them, so that's a really handy thing. So if you're looking for more armor variations and shield variations of all the vanilla versions, then check this mod out. So there we have it guys, eight smaller but awesome mods for you to download if you like the look of them in today's video. I want to thank all of you for watching and I'll be back again soon with more Skyrim videos. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest releases, click on the subscription button on the screen if you haven't done so yet or click on my link to my previous video to keep up to date with all my latest content, including more mods, guides and news every single day. Turn on notifications, the little bell thing next to the subscribe button as well to get notified of my latest videos as soon as they come out. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more information. Well, with all that being said guys, until next time, stay awesome and I will see you all in the next video.